Consequences of fluid overload on tissues. Each hour, 3% of the total blood volume leaves the vessels and enters the lymphatic system. This fluid is then recaptured by the circulatory system. Under normal conditions, everything that leaks from the vasculature is picked up by the lymphatic system. However, when this fails, the result is edema. The physiological mechanisms of edema on tissues include decreased capillary oncotic pressure due to loss of plasma proteins, obstruction to lymph flow, increased capillary filtration pressure, and increased capillary permeability due to diminution of the endothelial glycocalyx. Edema in the tissues leads to impaired oxygen and metabolite diffusion, obstruction of capillary blood flow and lymphatic drainage, disturbed cell-to-cell -cell interactions, and distorted tissue architecture. Clinically, edema in the tissues presents as swelling. For the legs and feet, this venous overload results in brawny, pigmented skin, and pressure ulcers may appear, especially in areas such as the heel. Inadequate blood flow can lead to impaired wound healing, and skin punctures may appear to weep as a result of leaking interstitial fluid. Edema may then contribute to progressive organ dysfunction, including gastrointestinal function, kidneys, lungs, and the brain.